Welcome back drinks fans, I'm Steve the Barman and I'm all about giving you drinks and cocktail inspiration uh, for your favourite drinks and tipples to help you make better drinks at home. In today's video I'm going back into dry January and this is the start where I focus on this brand Liars, an Australian uh, kind of non-alcoholic uh, brand in the drink stuff videos on the other channel. Uh, I'm focusing on Strike because you can get them from drink stuff. These bad boys I get from Master of Malt and what we are focusing on uh, I've got, and these will all be separate videos. I've got the Liars a Coffee Liqueur, which is absolutely amazing. I say liqueur, not, not coffee, non-alcoholic coffee. I've got the Amaretto, which is delicious, like Marcy pad in a glass. Uh, I've got a spiced rum, but in today's video, I'm going for this, the orange, uh, Italian orange, which if you haven't cottoned on already, let's pop these over here, is the equivalent to an Aperol. So I've got non-alcoholic Aperol and I am gonna give you three fun spritzes because I don't want you missing out in dry January or whether you just don't drink all year round, these will be perfect. So the first one, obviously I'm not gonna show you how to make an Aperol spritz because that's basic. So I'm going for inspiration. Feel free to take these recipes, change them up, have a little play. There'll be some ingredients that you definitely won't be able to get, but uh, it's all about inspiration. That's where we're going. So the first one, just to have a little taste of this, just out the bottle. Honestly, I wouldn't say it's as bitter as Aperol, but it has got that bitter kind of edge to it with a little bit, it's very well balanced, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of bitter in there. I think it's absolute, mate. I would quite happily drink that, quite happily drink that. Maybe even drink it neat or nice. So uh, for this one, uh, I'm going for a kind of a cherry and orange spritz, if you like, for this one. Obviously there's orange in there, but I've got another ingredient. So the cherry, uh, and this is one of the first ingredients that I say you probably won't be able to get. I've got a cherry puree, because I love these from uh, Long Life Shelf Stable purees from uh, Drink Stuff. Uh, ODK, uh, you could use cherry jam in this. Um, cherry jam, just heat that up uh, and kind of it'll be more runny or just pop with some jam in there, give it a stir with some of that and it'll break down. You could use the, the syrup from your maraschino cherries as well. That would be perfect. You could even get Monin uh, kind of cherry syrup uh, if you like, but cherry and Aperol kind of spritz is amazing. Right, so I'm going, going for this first. I'm going 25 ml of cherry puree. So that'll be a good dollop of cherry jam or 25 ml of uh, cherry syrup, anything like that effectively is a cherry syrup. Um, so that's that. I'm then going 50 ml double bubble of uh, this uh, Liars Italian orange. Let's just wash the rest of that puree out there. Um, now for this, for the mixer for this, I'll leave that there so you can see it. Um, this is where I just want to go inspiration. This is very much a UK thing. Uh, and I'm giving these guys a shout out because they're good friends of mine and uh, they've just rebranded and I use these tonics a lot uh, at the start of 2020. Uh, this is a blood orange and cinnamon tonic water. Not massively bitter. Uh, it's obviously got that bitter quinine level to it, but I just think they work. You can get these easily on the in the UK. Uh, online. Uh, if you're around the world, you know, it's orange and cinnamon. There is kind of, also in the UK, we've got uh, Fever Tree, uh, Clementine, what's their tonic? Clementine, I forget what it is now. They've got a, a sign of Clementine. It's maybe just Clementine tonic. You could use that as well, but I love this. Clementine and uh, blood, so blood, sorry, blood, orange and cinnamon. Uh, that's what this tonic is. Now, this will be up to you. I've got my recipes put 75 mil. So I'm just gonna do 75 mil. I might top it up in a bit. That's kind of the base of it. I'm just gonna put a few ice cubes in there just to start off with. You don't have to use a wine glass. You don't have to use a gin balloon. You could use your, your favorite sort of tumbler glass. Um, I'm just gonna garnish this up with a few oranges. That'll do. Another ice cube. Right, let's just give this a kind of stir down. Blend that cherry in. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that is good. A few more ice cubes. I might just top up with another, probably another 50 mil. There we go. You see, you can even garnish that with a maraschino cherry if you wanted as well. We love a bit of cherry juice, don't we? So maraschino cherry. So that's my first one uh, for the lies. Kind of like a, an orange and cherry uh, spritz. This is absolutely delicious. This is. So that's number one. Okay, the second one I'm gonna go for, 
And I've had an admin failure on this because I completely forgot the garnish when I was out shopping last week. I knew I was filming, but I failed miserably. Uh, this one I'm going to do. It's no stranger to the alcoholic version, but I absolutely love it. And I know it'll work a treat in here. We are going for a watermelon uh, spritz or in watermelon and orange spritz. Uh, and the, the mixer for this is a little bit crazy as well. Again, I think you can get this mixer around the world now. I think they've done really well. Um, so this again is another puree. You could use fresh watermelon. That's what I forgot to get for the garnish. So admin failure there. So you could just muddle down, I don't know, handful, maybe like a small handful of uh, fresh watermelon, just chunks you can muddle down in there. And that'll be perfect. Right, I'm just going 25 mil of watermelon puree in the bottom there. So that will kind of give it that sweetness, a little bit of sweetness in there. I'm then going for 50 ml of this. Again, let's wash the rest of that watermelon out. And this will kind of dial the, the bitterness back down to it. And then for the mixer, and again, this is a product I used to use a lot, but because I stepped away from gin, I haven't done too much with. This is Double Dutch's. Uh, cucumber and watermelon. Is this the tonic or is this the mixer? It's the mixer. So not, um, I don't think there's actually any quinine in there at all. It's more of a kind of soda, but absolutely phenomenal. Easy to get now all around the UK. In Europe, easy to get. They are a Dutch brand as well. Um, and I think, I do believe they are making huge strides in the US. Uh, if I've got that info right, I think they have. Again, I'm going 75 mil just to start off with. That's, yeah, let's just wash the rest of that out. Uh, a few ice cubes, just to kind of start it off. Will that fit? No, it won't fit. Let's just get that. I love that glass. Really, really love that glass. That'll be perfect, right. And then let's give this another little stir around. Get that watermelon blended in. You could even use non-alcoholic, um, uh, I was gonna say champagne then, uh, non-alcoholic Prosecco carver uh, as well if you wanted to. As I say, all about inspiration, this. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, that is so good. The cucumber and the watermelon just kind of bounce off each other really, really well in there. I'm just gonna, again, because I've got no watermelon failure, I have got a mint sprig here though, so I will garnish with a mint sprig. So that's the second one. Orange, um, watermelon, watermelon and cucumber. Oh, it's absolutely phenomenal. Right, uh, let's pop these this side. Now the third one, uh, this one is a lot of fun. And just to show you what you can do with spritzes, uh, and I think this is kind of brilliant. I love this. Uh, we're going kind of tiki, as, as you would do. And spritz is great because you don't have to shake them or anything. So uh, let's start off with uh, the puree I was going to use. Again, this is puree. Feel free to use pineapple juice. Feel free to get some fresh uh, pineapple, blitz it down so you've got puree, uh, whatever you kind of fancy. Uh, again, but I, I, you know, you guys know if you watch me regularly. And if you haven't subscribed already, if, you, if you're loving this videos and if you're loving me, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future video. And then also as a little reward, also in the, in the description below, you see the little link to download my uh, free cocktail book as well, which I kind of need to update for the mocktails. So I need to get on that. Uh, right, so uh, pineapple puree. Uh, 25 mil. If you're going pineapple juice, I would say possibly 50 mil um, because obviously this is more vibrant uh, in flavor than a juice will be. Uh, so just adjust that. Uh, obviously next again, I'm going for uh, 50 mil of my, uh, I keep saying Aperol, but my orange, Italian orange from Liars. Amazing, lovely, jubbly. Now, um, if you want to kind of tiki this up a little bit, uh, be my guest, you could add or sweeten it up a little bit. You could add something like this, uh, some orgite or or, jo, or jats, whatever you want to call it, uh, syrup, which I think would be absolutely amazing. And in fact, I might just do that. I might just add a little bar spoon. I don't want too much because the pineapple's in there. That'll do. Uh, purely because the final ingredient I've gone for is some ting. Uh, and this is left over from my last uh, filming session uh, two, 
two or three days ago, so might the fizziness might have gone a little bit. But Ting is like um, a grapefruit soda, so I think Lilt without the pineapple, absolutely amazing for this. So again, I'm going for uh, 75 mil to start off with, and then we might add a bit more at the end. We will add a bit more at the end. Uh, so again, ice it up, let's just start it off. Go, a few ice cubes, give that a little stir. Get that pineapple combined in, right? And let's uh, got a mix of sort of crushed and cubed there, all in one. There we go. Let's just top up with a bit more ting. So I've kind of got uh, a pineapple, uh, orange, and grapefruit spritz as well. Uh, garnish for this, I have got a pineapple for that. Again, another sprig of mint for that. Whack a straw in that one in the tiki. And there you have it. Three banging uh, kind of spritzes uh, using Liars non-alcoholic uh, Italian orange um, kind of Aperol equivalent. <laughs> I tell you what, mocktails in 2021 have just got a whole load more fun. Uh, in the next video that I'm shooting, I'm going to be focusing on the coffee, uh, the coffee liqueur, coffee non-alcoholic spirit. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.